Now then people, it's Joe All Eats TV. It's Friday morning and it's time for your Nottingham Forest preview. Um, just before we get started, please smash a like on the video, please share and if you're not already, please subscribe. Also we are looking for sponsors so if you would like to get involved, make sure you DM the channel with your interest and we will sort that out for you. Um, if you haven't already as well, we did uh, quite a few videos over transfer deadline day. Oscar's doing a rundown of it. If you could check that out, that would be greatly appreciated. And as I say, as always, smash a like. So, Nottingham Forest, Saturday, 12.30 kickoff. 1-1 uh, last time out at Ellen Road, if we remember uh, the mighty hand of Roof. Um, you know, got us, uh, got us a late equaliser late into that game. Um, and, and Ruth's no longer with us. Um, however, I am excited um, by the arrival of Ede Inketia from Arsenal. Absolute fire. Uh, hats off to, to Victor Orta for getting that deal done. It did look like he was going to Bristol City. Unlucky, unlucky Lee Johnson, you didn't... <laughs> uh, beat, beat to the punch by Leeds twice in a week. Um, it did look like he was going there. However, Orta swooped in. Um, you know, good relationship with Emery. Uh, from the time at Seville, and uh, as I say, he he's now um, now in the lead side, and I, I've made a bold prediction, um, and I said if he plays as much as Roof did last season, he gets more goals. Just my opinion, and fingers crossed, I'm correct. Will he make the bench? Not so sure. We know what Bielsa's like. We've seen that last week with the fact that you know our marquee signing, the marquee signing of the championship, in my opinion, held the Costa didn't actually make the, make the team. And for me, it'll be the same lineup as last time out when we beat Bristol City three one. And you can't argue with that because let's be honest, bar a few spells, we were absolutely unreal. Um, and you can't change that winning formula. Um, so for me, we we start with the same lineup. Hopefully, we'll see Eddie on the bench just in case we do need to switch it up. Um, because, listen, he's been playing in pre-season for Arsenal, so he's up to speed. He might not be in Bielsa's, you know, up to speed. It's a different, you know, kettle of fish, that. Um, but hopefully we'll see him on the bench. Uh, and I'm really excited uh, by the prospect of Eddie Nketiah. So, Forrest then. Um, listen, I did a live stream on the Connor and Joe show on Instagram with Mr. Dor on tour, a Nottingham Forest vlogger. Um, and he alluded to the fact that Nottingham Forest have 50 odd players like 52 I think he might have said let's just go with around 50 50 odd players in their books it's absolutely insane how does that work especially when you compare it with our with our small squad but even most championship squ squads no one's got 50 players on the books he even told me they have like between four and five first choice goalkeepers a lot of that's due to the manager turnover obviously they had Karanka O'Neill and now they've got Lamucci um it's insane to think that the chairman's okay with them bringing in their own players and just leaving, you know, these these um, other pros like hanging around the gaff. It can't be good. I think they're in a bit of disarray. I I think personally, um, they're, it's mad because they're such a such a big club. I mean, they have brought quite a few players in this window. Um, some some decent players, obviously Jenkinson's coming from Arsenal, which probably means Matty Cash might move back into midfield. I do really rate Matty Cash. Will we see Jenkinson on Saturday? You've got Albert Adoma, Semedo, who plays in defensive midfield, um, Thiago Silva, who hopefully will will from a Forest perspective maybe link up better with Graben because Graben's been isolated at times, hasn't really had the effect Nottingham Forest expected. We all rated Graben. A few of us wanted him in last season, if you remember. Um, they have got the goalkeeper Murich in from Manchester City as well. Um, he had a bit of a, a bit of a torrid time in the, in the loss to to West Bromwich Albion. Um, you could arguably say two two howlers, maybe just the one. I think the the second one from Phillips can't really do much about. Um, but then they've gone and brought a new keeper in. Like, fill the guy with confidence, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Um, he's on loan from City, will he even start on Saturday? That, again, for me, just throws it up. Obviously, I think they've got an ageing Dawson at centre-back, the captain, he's, he's so old. I mean, the key men for him, obviously, are Doma, Lolly, uh, Graben, and, and, and whether or not Thiago Silva can link, um, but, you know, fr from midfield to, to Graben. But they're the danger man. But I, I, I just think they've got too much going on, too much going on. Um, new manager, and I, I just see us winning the game. I do see us winning the game. I think we have too much for Forest. I do feel they will have periods in the game, much like Bristol City. It's how we deal with them periods of pressure. Um, and obviously, it, it, a lot of it, for me, hangs on whether or not we take our chances. If we play the same as we did against Bristol City, and we take our chances, 
will win this game. And it could be a, a Bristol City scoreline, a Bristol City type performance. I genuinely believe that. Um, I'm not being overzealous. I'm not being overconfident. I just think we have too much for Forest. And if we play to our potential, then I could see us winning the game and winning the game well. I'm going to give you a prediction of 3 0 Leeds United. Fingers crossed we can keep a clean sheet this time. As long as we deal with their, with their small periods of pressure that they will get during the game. Um, then, then, then I think we'll we'll be okay, and I think we owe Forest one, obviously from last season the four two loss as well. Um, but yeah, um, I'm gonna leave it there, guys. Nice, short, sweet, sweet. I hope uh, and snappy. And uh, listen, I'll look forward to seeing you all tomorrow at Ellen Road. I cannot wait. Big fixture, big club up against. You know, back at Ellen Road sold out it's just going to be an absolutely unreal atmosphere um and yeah and i hope hope you like the video if you have leave a comment like subscribe all that jazz and let me know your score line i'm going three nil leads we keep a clean sheet with the crazy cat in goal that is kiko kasia peace out now leads, leads, leads.